Hey guys, Jason here. So, uh, got myself a Epiphone Les Paul. Has a Gibson stamp on it too. But uh, Epiphone is owned by Gibson. They're just made in uh, uh, China. Or but uh, this has got a real uh, rosewood neck on it. This guitar is 20 years old. It was made in 1996. And uh, whoever owned it before me played the holy hell out of it. And it is grimy and dirty. And uh, it probably needs um, maybe some fret work uh, for, you know, just leveling them off and a neck adjustment. So I got my um, adjust the neck and check my frets with my fret rocker. Um, I bought this little tool here for popping off the knobs. Um, it just goes over the knobs and it grabs them from underneath and then uh, you can pop them off without having to worry about cracking them because these knobs are yeah, 20 years old. All the plastics on this are, you know, turning kind of a yellowish color, which is okay. I don't care as long as it all yellows at the same time and matches, which it does. Um, when I first got it, this switch didn't really want to move, so uh, you can see it's kind of wobbly. Like I say, this guy played the holy hell out of it, whoever owned it before me. Um, so I just used a little WD-40 on there and just worked it real carefully. And now it actually flips really nice and uh, no noise, no buzzing, no noises. Um, the knobs, they turned really stiff. And so right now I pop the knobs off and I'm just putting little bits of WD-40 on it and letting it sit and then turning them a little bit more WD-40 and then turning them and it's really seems to be working really good. Just freeing up these knobs to get them to twist nice and easy again. And once again these knobs are nice and solid. Um, the pots are. And uh, they actually turn really nice. Um, so I'll just keep doing that. Um, so anyway, right now what I'm doing is I'm de-stringing it and uh, I'm going to give it a good detail job and clean it all up and you know check my fretboard and um, my frets and see how, uh, how they look. I might have to level the fretboard or the frets, but I don't know yet. They seem okay, but I'll check it. But I'm going to give it a good detail job here, clean it up, and uh, then I'll restring it uh, if I don't have to do any fret work. And uh, I'll restring it and then retune it. And I'll have to use the uh, bridge tuners and the 12th fret right here. So you guys can see that online how you do that. Um, so you check. Anyway, you check the open string, like this is the big E string, um, and you pluck it and get that tuned into E, and then you come over here on the 12th fret, put your finger on it, pluck it again, and then you tune that to E, and you use these little tuners up here to adjust it, um, adjust that part from the 12th fret to there. It's just changing the string length just a little bit to get that tuned into E from the 12th fret to there. So anyway, this is what I'm doing today. I'm gonna get this all fixed up. Uh, maybe I'll give you a shot when I'm done. But, uh, and then I got my other guitar back here. This is the Epiphone Les Paul Florentine. Um, it's here is a semi hollow body version of a Les Paul and uh, sounds great. Um, this one's like brand new. The only thing that's wrong with this one is uh, whoever ordered it before me from the shop or whatever where they ordered it from, uh, it got damaged in uh, shipping and it has a small crack in the neck back here. Um, but it actually plays just fine and stuff. And um, I might see if I can't replace or repair it, or I just be careful with it and 
play it like it is. But, uh, so I got that one for a pretty cheap price, too. Or, not cheap, but a lot lower than they normally go for. I mean, got it for, uh, less than half of what these normally sell for, because these are pretty expensive, the, uh, the Florentine models. So, anyway, uh, Yep, so that's what I'm working on. Get my, uh, get this one going. <coughs> Give this one a cleaning and a tune up. Alright, well, thank you for watching. And, uh, maybe I'll give you a shot later. Oh, and this is what I'm using. I'm using the, uh, this is Gibson Gear, uh, Luther's Choice, um, cleaners and conditioners and everything for this for working over the guitar and cleaning it up and everything. Alright, well, talk to you guys in a little bit. Got a pile of rags right there all ready to go for cleaning. Alright, 